I'm Kim Garland Campbell. I work for the USDA ARS out of Pullman, Washington. I'm the, uh, people call me the club wheat breeder, but I also do a lot of pre-breeding and uh, developing of new germplasm for other breeders to use. We're often trying to create something that doesn't exist yet. So we have the tools, you know, we know the genetics and we have the lines we want to cross. But then as we're selecting, we're always applying our own kind of opinion on, um, is this, uh, how do I rank this particular thing versus other things? And the other thing you find about plant breeders is they tend to have a certain look to, to the things they select. And uh, so people kid me about my wheats because they often have kind of floppy flag leaves, you know, <laughs> whereas other breeders will have these really erect flag leaves. I also really like the, the bluish waxy coating on the wheat, and so I'm always picking blue, blue, blue. And uh, um, so you, you can kind of tell, uh, you get like a signature of what your wheat varieties look like. Club wheat is sold basically on the, on the um, criteria of its quality and most of it gets mixed with uh, soft white wheat and then marketed as Western white. And 90% of that goes to Japan. Korea also buys quite a bit. And then there's some smaller purchases that um, in Thailand and Vietnam and countries like that. And uh, club wheat differs from soft white because it tends to be a little softer. It has a higher flower extraction and a much higher break flower extraction. So it's essentially cake flour. And um, it also has very, very low water absorption. So that makes it, when you, when you mix it into a baked product like a cookie or a cake, it causes the, the texture of the cake to be really fine. And it almost feels like things melt in your mouth when you eat them. Um, the other reason the Japanese really like it is for, they mix it as tempura for the tempura batter, because with the low absorption, it creates this really nice light uh, batter coating. So they've um, sourced club wheat for a long, long time. But um, I, you know, I know even uh, back a few years ago when we first had the issue with the discovery of the Roundup tolerant wheat in the fields here and they stopped buying wheat from the PNW for a short time one summer, they kept buying club wheat because they knew that that trait hadn't been discovered in club wheat and they really felt like they needed it. So um, club wheat is a small component of the market. It, it ranges between five and sometimes up to 12% of the total wheat market in the PNW, but it is a, a different market, you know? And so it's something that only the PNW can satisfy. There really isn't another place in the world that can, can grow club wheat with the quality that, that we have and uh, has a buyer in the in the Japanese that is a pretty stable buyer. So for the, um, I, like I like to tell growers, you know, consider just putting a little bit of club wheat in, you know, cause sometimes the premium goes up and you can really, really do well with it. And the, the other thing we try to do because of that is um, create club wheat varieties that are competitive with the best soft whites. Often the soft whites will out yield us slightly, but be, what we try to do is pack those club wheat varieties with traits that make them a little bit uh, where you don't have to pay a lot of attention to them. So like we make sure they have good stripe rust resistance, good soil borne disease resistance, and good, just good agronomics. And uh, so like I like to say, you know, put your club wheat out there, let it grow, and then pay attention to your hard red spring, you know? <laughs> and and uh, then hopefully you'll be able to manage your time and also come up with a good, uh, profit at the end. And this project has worked out of uh, Seabark actually uh, I think for about 25 years now back in 1996 or 1997 the the Oregon club wheat project and the one in Pullman were merged under Bob Allen and then me now so um, so we've enjoyed this collaboration for a long time. It's been really a good site for us to come down and screen club wheat in an earlier environment. And also I really like working with the staff down here.